Next, we're going to do the ulnar sensory nerve, also in the upper extremity. The ulnar nerve comes from the neck down to the arm, under the elbow, in the forearm, and ends in the last two digits. That means the ring finger and the baby finger. It goes under the elbow. That's why if you lean on your elbow, you can cause pressure and cause ulnar neuropathy. Typically, ulnar neuropathy symptoms include numbness and tingling in the fourth and fifth digits, the ring and baby finger. And Occasionally, it can cause weakness in the hand, the difficulty turning knobs. Treatment of ulnar neuropathy is to tell the patient to stop leaning on the elbows, and sometimes elbow pads can be helpful. So the next nerve that we're going to study is going to be the ulnar sensory. And you see from the setup that we're going to put the electrodes on the baby finger right here. So I'm going to take the electrodes from the index finger to put them on the baby finger like this. And now you see where they are. And I leave the ground exactly where it is. Now I need to measure for the ulnar sensory as well. And I put the ruler right here. And then I see that where it says 11, that's where the ulnar sensory measure is. So again, the same thing. I use the marker to mark the place where I'm going to stimulate the ulnar sensory, again at the wrist, like I did for the median sensory. Here we go. I put some cream on the stimulator to make sure I have good electrical conductance. And then I put the electrode right here. That's where the ulnar nerve is at the wrist. And I'm going to begin stimulating. So I press on the orange button. And I'm going to get a response here. Then I increase the intensity. I'm going to get more of a response, and more of a response. And by the way, if you put too much electricity, you're going to start seeing all this stuff here next to it. That's the movement artifact. That means that the, uh, that the finger is moving, and it's, it's actually not the nerve itself. So I'm going to decrease the intensity a little bit, and now I'm happy with that. So I'm going to press the green button, which is to store. And again, you will see, like you saw for the median sensory, you see that we have the, uh, the the part of the nerve that's being recorded is the blue part, and it puts the markers automatically, one, two, three, four, and five. 